Hi, I'm Alan, and this is a video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more John Dash. A potential new Hardest Nine Circles level has been released, although the verifier doesn't think so. Uh, but from what I've heard from people who have tried it and just looking at it, it looks absolutely impossible. The hallucination by Psyquel, verified by Varchi, has now recently been released, and I thought, why not give it a shot? Uh, I like just going through stuff that interests me or that is unique in a special way, and just trying it out in practice mode and just seeing what I think. The thing about the hallucination by Psyquel is that this is actually a Nine Star Wars level that I find genuinely intriguing. Uh, it's not like the, the most groundbreaking thing of all time, right? It's not the most incredible level ever created. However, for a Nine Star Wars level, I do think it fits a lot of criteria to make it a unique level. And I do genuinely think that this could be a cool addition to the Divas list in very many ways. It has a lot of like really confusing, cool gameplay. And it's just, I don't know, I just, I just think it's cool that, that this is really it. Uh, so I'm going to be giving it a shot in practice mode. I'm obviously going to be failing miserably at it because this level is confusing as hell. But yeah, I'm going to be trying it out. We're going to check it out and hopefully have a decent time with it. But of course, before we start, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I would truly appreciate it. Supporting the channel is always appreciated. Anyway, with this level, it's a cycle level. So it's obviously going to be pretty, pretty high quality, right? How am I? How did I do that? First try, what? Am I just simply that insane at this game? Yikes. Uh, the thing about cycle levels is that they are usually pretty good. I think one issue that I've always had with cycle stuff is that they're a little bit grimy. And what I mean by that is that they are a little bit like muddy they're a little dark uh, i feel like cycle stuff could do well with some um brighter colors but that's pretty much like my only thing uh so you go one two one two three four if i can hit it no can i hit it Any good there oh wait that's actually really hard what you have to like go up and hit that the 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 mini portal and then, wow, oh, and then not hit the spikes. Okay, um, that sounds really hard. Doesn't this sound really hard? That is just really hard. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, this is a very hard ship part. Okay, kind of expected it, but damn. But as I was saying, I think Cycle's things kind of suffer a little bit from just being way too muddy. Like, I think True Effect is a cool level, right? I think True Effect is a cool level. However, it, it feels very desaturated. Probably the word that I'm looking for. These levels feel a little desaturated. And I have, like, a slight worry that this will be similar in the sense that it's a cool level, but it's just going to feel very washed out, right? Not hit that. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I can hit this ball timing. No, can I not hit this ball timing, please? No, dude, th this ball timing is awful. How can I do this ball timing? Help. Okay, I, I, I did it. That only took like 10 tries. Now, this ball part is much easier again. Why is this ball part so much easier? It has like a couple of really hard timings. That's pretty much it. Okay, and then we're back into uh, ship hell. Oh, this is a th that's an th this is a very bad transition because you can't like land on that because you'll just hit the spike. But you can't like hold into it either because you're just gonna hit the corner there. That is that this is not a very good transition. I'm gonna be 100 real with you. I'm not a huge fan of this transition. I think it's pretty, pretty not very great. I'm not beating this anyway, so it doesn't matter. You do that, and then you can land on the slope there, and then fall into that. Tap twice to straight fly. Hold but don't hold too long. There's a lot of like hold control here. Like you have to like hold into stuff and then just not go too high up. I think that's interesting. I like that. That's that's a cool thing that you don't really see in a lot of levels where you just have to like control how long you hold for. Not to this extent, at least. I like it. I think it's cool. Except for the fact that I can't do it. Okay, that's the first 15% of the level. Yikes. Okay, so we start out with a blind transition. Very great. Um, Would be lying if I said that that's good, but hey. So you go bam, bam. One, two. One, two, and then go up. Oh, that's, that's cool. I like that. That's, that's like very unique music sync in a way. I, I haven't seen this done before. Like you have to go up like perfectly so that you can actually get through that. Ooh, okay. Like, like, like that, like jump late. Okay, so you only jump once. Okay, that's not too bad then. I was like, I'll, I'll probably have to hit, hit like 20 of them. But no, you don't have, actually have to hit a lot of those portals. That That's fine. Oh, so you go... You go up once, and then you hit the blue orb. That is ridiculous. This is what I mean by confusing. It's just like, uh, and just kind of throw stuff like that at you. That you just kind of like have to know exists. Damn, I thought I had it. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, that is... <laughs> so this is just really confusing stuff, apparently. So you just kind of like do one click here. And then you go like all the way over here and then you do that. Okay. So there's not as many clicks as you would think. I feel like it's almost a little deceiving in a way, like how little you actually have to click here. Cause I feel like I'm just like 
doing one click and then I'm just getting through like five years worth of gameplay. There, hit that. Yeah, and then you, that click is also just one thing for which you go up here, hit that, and then hit the yellow orb and that. Wow, okay. See, the thing is, right? I feel like a lot of this gameplay isn't really that like super hard. It's just a hard time learning it. Like some of these things don't feel that tight, really. Oh, that's ugly. Cause that looks much easier than it is. Cause you have to like go in here and barely scrape this. So you go into the green portal. Ooh, cause you can't go too early. Cause then you just hit the wall here. Kind of mean in a way, actually. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a really cool thing. Like I like the, I like how they utilize uh, size portals to their advantage in a way. That is, this is hard. This is really hard. And you hit that. Oh, then you hit that go down. And then I think the hardest part about this is the fact that a lot of it is just dark. Then one, two, and then hold. So you go one, two, hold, and then that, and then jump. One, two, hold, jump. That is really hard. Okay. I mean, I did it. Okay, so you go one, two, one, two. Okay. And then the last one is like a tap almost. Yeah, because you have to like go very low into that green orb. Green orb? Green portal. It's kind of cool how he uses like very slow gameplay. Like I, I'm so used to Nine Circles levels just being so fast. So it's almost kind of weird to have like this slow gameplay. Oh, that's really tight. What the hell? That is disgusting. It just suddenly became the hardest thing ever imagined. You have to like, oh my God, what is this? That is, this is so stupid. To the point where it just like suddenly became like impossible. Like up until now, I've been like, oh, dude, this is pretty manageable. Like I could see this being like a reasonable thing. But no, then this happened. Hello. Then you go up there and you click one more time like that. Yeah. Okay. That it, it's so like it's kind of hard to like put words on. But there's something really cool, uh, cool about this kind of stuff. Like I find this kind of gameplay, like while it's really hard and really hard to like get the hang of, I do actually thoroughly like this style. Like I find it like cool to look at. Would it be equally as cool to actually like pull off and play? Probably. Would I, would I be willing to do it? Probably not. I have to do one, two, three, then go up there and down. I'm so confused. I'm actually genuinely so confused at this part. I mean, I passed it, but I have no idea how I passed it. That was just, that, that was that was really weird. I have no idea how that part works. <laughs> Gonna be 100% real with you. I just do not know. Mm, you have to fall in like at the very bottom of it. Okay, so you go there, go over. This is a really cool level though. I will admit, like visually speaking, I think this level is really sick. You have to go like there, go down there. Okay, so this is just a bunch of like, mm, Portal clicks, which I hate. You guys know that I really dislike portal clicks. I think they're just really annoying. So obviously I'm not the biggest fan of that, but hey. Yeah, how do I do that? What? That was a really weird click. That is weirdly specific. Okay, so you go one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of like brute forcing myself way my, myself through this. But right now I just don't have much to say. It's just a lot of like really cool wave movements. Like that's the thing about this level is just a bunch of cool wave movements. That's like the main selling point for this f to me personally. Like I, I don't think it's like the, vi I th well actually I do think it visually is really cool. Um, okay, so this is just a spam. This reminds me of like down base, the, the down base spam, which everyone knows is like the greatest thing ever created. While I do think this level is really cool, it's also just a nine service level, so I don't really have too much to say. Like, I've already gone over, like, the, the, the cool intricacies of the gameplay, which is what makes this stand out, or what I, why I think it's cool. But other than that, it's, it's just a nine service level. I think the scary part about this level is the fact that it's XL. Like, I, I've not mentioned that yet, but this is an XL level, meaning that this is over two minutes long. And two minutes of this style of gameplay is really hard. <laughs> like, while this gameplay seems like it's very manageable, the fact that it lasts for over two minutes is, like, genuinely a scary thought. Come on. Can I please pass this? Okay, and then you go, bam. Bam, bam, no, bam, bam, bam. I think my biggest issue so far though is that it, there's a lot of like, just pitch black. Like there's so many like color fades that you can't really see what's going on. You just kind of like have to know what's happening, which I will never, I will never think that's a good thing. Like I think that gameplay should be visible and this level just doesn't really have a lot of visible gameplay a lot of the time. Like stuff like this, for instance, like there's no way for me to like actually see what's happening. I just have to like know, right? I kind of wish there were like small indicators that there were coming like portals because a lot of the time I'm just like, oh, nah, nah I'm just teleporting, I guess. 
you know? So while these are like really cool, I do wish there were like tiny indicators at least, like a, like a little flicker of light or whatever to just show that, okay, you're teleporting like a mother right now, right? Because I do feel like it's kind of hard to like go through with stuff like this in practice because you just genuinely don't know where you're going. How do I do this? This part feels re really RNG. Like this doesn't feel like it's just a good part. Like this is just straight up bad. Um, yeah, no, I'm not, I, I was not a huge fan of that. I wasn't like by far my least favorite part of the level. Why can I not put a star position? Holy shit. Like I've been trying to put a start checkpoint here for like five minutes now, probably. I just can't do it. Stop. Like it's so hard to like put to words how insane some of this, these things are. But then it's not like the gameplay itself is like that tight. Like while it's really tight, so it's obviously going to be like a really high end nine uh, circles level. It's also just like the gameplay is so confusing that it Im feels impossible. Like that's the biggest thing for me. It just feels impossible because of how confusing it is. Oh, that is a mean click. The fact that this is not a buffer, that's abs that's stupid. That's genuinely stupid. That double spike was dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Then we hit that, hit that. No, we're not supposed to hit that. Okay. Supposed to do that, got it. Thankfully, this ending doesn't seem like it's too bad. It's probably gonna be stressful as a hell if you get here in normal mode, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be like the most impossible thing ever. Like it's just a controlled ship part, right? So that I can't get that blue or blue portal. Go there, hit, go one, two, three and then drop down between those spikes. Yeah, okay. Jump, that's the triple spike, or effectively a triple spike at least. Also a wave part at the end of a nine circles level and like the outro, that, that's ballsy. I kind of appreciate it. I actually kind of like that. Holy shit, this last jump. Okay. The hallucination by Cycle and Varchi. What an insane level, an absolutely crazy level. That took me 1279, what? That took a lot more than I thought it was going to. That's a cool level. I like it, I actually do like this level. While I do think some of the parts are a little bit weird and a little bit awkward, uh, that's, I feel like this is just a learning level. As a circles level, I think is definitely the best that we will see on the list for a while at least, because it d utilizes the standard, it's just a very but standard circles level, but it uses, utilizes a lot of like unique ideas to create a unique experience, which I think is cool. Cool gameplay overall. I think the gameplay seems like it would be very satisfying to pull off. Uh, there were a couple parts that I found really awkward, like the, the one thing at like 70 or whatever with the like the dual wave spam thingy. I thought that was awful. Uh, the outro for the level, the the like the final part is really cool and i like the fact that they actually use like a wave part in the middle of the outro for a circle level i think that's really interesting really neat uh i think it's cool i think there's a good level do i think it's gonna get rated we'll see what happens i do think that there are a few mods i know that do like this level there have been a few mod comments on this level so it's a possibility there's certainly a possibility but hey we shall see what happens we shall see what happens. We never know what the arbitrary rate standards for extremes. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Eat your green cell. Stay hydrated. Thank you for making my day, but I hope my was a little bit better too. Peace out, everyone.